Ladies and gentlemen, my friends, today is a special day because I'm recording school and therefore cannot be here with you live. But I wanted to bring you the best of the best of the alphas every single day. And I've got a technique that I want to show you that will help you accumulate and actually make money with every single trade in the next four to six months. Now, I talk a lot about these 5x, 3x leverage positions and that you should start building these positions. But I got a lot of DMs asking like, how do I really, really start building these positions up and how, wh where to buy, where to layer out. So that's what I'm gonna talk about. Let's jump into the charts. Number one, very important, is that this strategy only works if you're able to define the direction of the market, right? So for me, I believe that we are, even though that we have not closed above the daily trend here, as I talk about on my, on my live shows every single day, we still haven't closed above the 70,000, which is the daily high, but we are establishing a four point of structure here, which tells me that we are building some kind of structure that eventually will break out of this daily trend, uh, daily trend trend. Now, now, if we confirm that we are in an uptrend, which again, in my opinion, we are, but you can still wait for the high break and then confirm from there. That means that we broke out of the daily downtrend and we are back to the full bull market, the full blown bull market. Now, the thing you want to do in the bull market is you never want to short and you always want to buy. How do you build your three X positions, five X positions? First of all, if you have not been loading up on the fifth leg, as I was suggesting, don't feel lost because you still got an opportunity. But this, you literally have four to six months for this. So you have to understand there's four to six months to achieve all this. Now, the way to do it is that in average, if you look back onto the previous bull markets, also guys, if you like this show, please subscribe to the channel, smash the like. I come, you every, come here every single day live, except today because we're recording an incredible intro to crypto school with Ren. Uh, but in general, I am here every single time. And if you don't know who I am, my name is Fefe and you can find me on X. There is a link in the description. I bring you the best of the best of the alpha. Honestly, I do. I actually do. Okay, let's jump into this. So here's the thing. If you look back, let's assume that this is the beginning of the bull market, right? 2020 March. Let's say that this was, which was the beginning. Let's say we only track from here. If you start tracking from here, what you will notice is that there is no big drawdowns. Again, it's very important. Once you add that, you can follow the same strategy in the bear market as well, because then you have direction, but you have to have direction. And I'll tell you later why. It's very important that you need to make sure to understand that the drawdowns that happen usually aren't that big. So for example, let's look at this. This seems like a substantial drawdown. This was 20%. If you go higher, this seems like a substantial drawdown, 20%. This seems like a substantial drawdown, about 10%. Then you go all the way up here. So you have to do this on the chart that you wanna trade. I recommend you only trade Bitcoin because of the same reasons as well. I recommend you only do trade Bitcoin, but in general, you can trade any other coin with this strategy. You just have to make sure that your drawdowns, you understand your drawdowns. So on Bitcoin here, I'm going up, it's 30, 32%. You go down here, it's another 27%, another 18%. And then we've got a market structure shift change here, which is happening. This is a market structure shift, which means we're changing the trend. So we would not have traded this. But all the way up here, we have made, or well, the market went about 600%. Now you can either just hold and just you know participate in that with spot, or you can add and buy and sell on, uh, on leverage, but then you have to make sure you don't get liquidated. This is why it's important for you to understand what levels, uh, what drawdowns the chart you wanna trade has. So if you go back here, what I assume again is that this is the next bull, right? So if that's the truth, here's how I would position myself on leverage. I would take three to four X leverage positions with half of my account size, or if I can add more margin every month, like DCAing in, I would probably use more. But in general, if I put $1,000 in on my trading account, because I have $1,000 to trade, and I wanna multiply that account fast, and I don't just wanna hold um, uh, uh, several alts, or I actually want to trade Bitcoin because I believe that Bitcoin is not as volatile, it can really go to zero, and I do believe that Bitcoin will pull a two, three X in this run, then this is a perfect option. So the way to do that is the following. You buy in with a thousand dollars here, right? You, right here. You buy in. You have a thousand dollar account. Sorry. You buy in with twenty percent of your account here on three x leverage. Okay. If the market starts pumping, every 10, 15 percent, you can start ten. You can start selling 10, 15 percent of your position and wait for the pullback when the pullback comes. Okay, you don't just buy every dip on the 15 minute chart, you actually wait for a 10, 15% pullback as we've seen that it happens in the bull market. So 
every every five, six, seven, every, yeah, maybe five, six, seven as well, but depending on your strategy, you can sell every five, six, seven percent, or you can sell every 10, 15 percent pump, and you sell like 10, 15, 20 percent off your position at that time. And when the market starts dipping, you start buying in every 10 percent lower because the average dip, as we've seen, is about 30 percent, 20 to 30 percent. That means that buying six, seven percent and making three, four buys with your account makes a lot of sense because we know that these dumps are going to come. And when the dump actually comes, you can get into these with limit orders. So, so you will have to set these limit orders up. I'm going to show that to you in a little bit later, but I want you to understand the concept, which is, again, you just layer in here. You have, let's say, a thousand dollar account. You use half of that account. The reason why you use half of that account, because then you can do 3x leverage and not be that big exposed. If you understand leverage, you know that 3x Leverage means that you borrow three times the money that you're trading with. If you have $1,000 and you put the whole account in 3x leverage, you basically trade with $3,000. The problem with leverage is that you not only multiply your wins and the account size, but you also multiply your losses. That means for every percent, 1% that the chart goes down, you actually are down 3%. That means if your chart would go down 30% for any reason, because you have the massive liquidity sweep or shakeout that I've showed you happens in the bull markets, your account would be down 90%. You don't want that. So what you do is instead of using your whole account and putting it on 3X leverage, you use half of your account, okay, 50% of your account on 3X leverage. And that means that you essentially use 1.5X leverage on your total account. The reason why I like to do this better, dividing it into two, because you can still add margin, you don't have to do isolated, you can still do cross, and you can still layer out of the positions much easier than if you just ape everything at once. Also, if you're really up in a lot of profits, you will have much more money left to start scaling into other positions as well. So once that out, you will need to start layering into, into your positions. Now that we understand that on Bitcoin, the max drawdown in the bull market is about 30%, I know I have to protect myself against that 30% drawdown. So the way I do it is that I'm probably going to layer down. First off, what I'm going to do, I'm going to prepare for the uh, for the 30% drawdown. I'm going to put a, a limit order 7% 7, 7 lower. I'm going to put another limit order 14% lower. And I'm going to put another limit order about 20, 25% lower. These are going to be my buys that are always here. And I will have to monitor the charts and I will have to track my trades, but I will have these limit orders in at all times because no one knows when the dump is going to come. If the dump comes today, then I have my 3x limit orders in here with half of my account and I'm ready to go. So if the market, however, starts pushing, so I actually it's 25% each because I get in with 25% now, okay? So 25% of my account is in now and I'm just riding the wave. Now, if the market starts pumping, I will have to move these as well. So I will just follow the market and be like, what is the top? We usually have about a 30% drawdown here. So I'm just gonna follow the chart with my limit orders and with my limit orders on 3X leverage, right? And then the same time, not only follow the chart, but also every, let's say five to 10%, I will take profits. I'll take 10% off my position. Therefore, I accumulate more dollars I don't have to trade the lower time frames and be completely scared about scalping and be exposed. I'm not exposed to liquidations and stop losses because we, you know, if we agree on the fact that there will be a bull market, we saw that historically for over a year, the largest drawdown was 30% at once. So in general, it's almost a risk-free trade, right? So let me show you how to do this. Well, number one, I'm actually going to use, I'm actually going to use VX for this. Couple of reasons. One, we made an incredible deal with them, and that means that you guys can have. Uh, 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 so this here, for example, I wanted to say a lot of things because they have the daily draw as well, which I'm actually excited about. I haven't clicked on my daily draw yet, which I wanted to show you um, uh, now, but I'm going to show it a little bit later. So the way it works is that you have to sign up, and you can win a hundred dollar bonus. You will enjoy a zero percent maker fee. That means if you actually put limit orders in, which I'm going to show you now, it will cost you nothing to trade, and it will be zero point zero four four percent taker fee. Now I said that you should never trust an exchange that charges you zero fees, and I stand by it. But if it is for reasons like this, which is a promotion, in a way that they actually do charge taker fee, I think it's not a bad deal. Let me explain. Maker fee means that you put a limit order in. As I explained, we're gonna, I'm going to show you how we're going to do that. 
Taker fee means you market sell and market buy. 95% of the orders are market sell and market buy because people don't care about limit orders. They don't do that. They just ape into things and ape out of things. Okay, <laughs> ape out. I don't know if that's... That's how they say, but they power the school as well. So by using maker fees, they will be able to allow you to basically trade for 0% fees until uh, the promotion goes. You can sign up. It's non-KYC available worldwide and you can buy signing up. 100 users will be selected to get a $100 futures uh, uh, bonus as well. There will be a giveaway, $10,000. You got to check them out. There is a link in the description. I don't want to spend more time on VX. I'm going to use them for the reason because I do think it's an incredible deal uh, and they're in on KYC and you can have this lucky draw. Let's do this lucky draw because uh, the way it goes is that you've got different tasks. So if you've got a trade, I had a $1,000 trading volume, $10,000 trading volume, you can spin one. If you have 50,000 trading volume, you can spin one and so on. So I haven't spin yet. So we're going to do it now together. I've never done this. I hope I win like a MacBook. One dollars. Okay, it's still fine. I want one dollars. <laughs> but they have this. They have this spinning as well. You can win quite cool stuff. MacBook Air, big zero point zero one Bitcoin. Okay, cool. Anyway, let's jump into this. So first off, you will have your profile and you can click on deposit. You'll be able to simply deposit money. When you have deposited, you can come here onto the futures bonus and then just transfer all the money. I've got a thousand dollars in here. Once you're in here, the platform works very similarly than, than any major platform. So you'll be able to click on, on leverage up here. You can adjust your leverage. You will be able to adjust limit order and market orders. As we discussed, taker and maker, right? Maker is uh, uh, the limit and taker is the market order. And you will be able to select what you want to trade. It's quite a cool platform, actually. I've been trying them out for the past weeks um, and I like them. So if you go down here, first off, what we want to do, we agreed that we're going to use 3x leverage. So we're going to do that. The second, what we're going to do is if it, it is set for cross by default, but if for any reason you use isolated margin, you have to set it back to cross margin because this is the reason we want to use only half of our accounts. Now, if I have $1,000, that said, based on the strategy that I explained, I will only use 50% of that, right? So I'll use $500 for the trades. And I will divide it $500 into four different, um, uh, four amounts, and that's 125 each buy. So if I mark my chart out here, and I say, let's do this. So my first level will be 7% lower than here. So I'm going to put a, a vertical. Uh, no, not a vertical, actually. I'm going to put a horizontal, sorry. Line here. And then I want another buy about 14% lower. So I'm going to so I'm gonna put that in here as well. And I want another buy about 20, 22% if this is the big, big dip. Now, I mark my prices on today's price, right? And I say 62,100, that's my first buy. I go back here, the way I do it, I click on limit, 62,100, was it? Let me just look back here, 62,100, and I add my amount here, right? Let's say I want to add... So I want to add 12.5% of my kind. Let's say 13%. It's easier this way. You can also calculate it out. You can write in the USD amount, whatever that is. And then you just simply go open long position. It will give you exactly what you put. Use margin 124. I was very, very close. I just didn't want to write the amount in. And then I go confirm. What you will see is that it places an order on your chart. That's it. You have to do nothing else. Now you have the first layer. And then you're going to go into the next one, 57,300. You're going to add that in as well. 57,300. You might be thinking it's not coming, but guys, I'm telling you, it is coming. It is coming. It is It is an absolute a possibility uh, that these dips are going to come. Limit in. Hold on, it's 57. Sorry about this. Let me do this. I just want to make sure it's 114. Okay. And then I go confirm, and I've got another layer in here. And then I, I simply just add the, the limit orders in here. What happens if these starts getting hit, right? One thing that happens, first of all, I bought in here, right? So I will be in minus. I will be on this position. I'll be in 7% minus. But the moment I buy in here, my buy in, my average price comes down to half. So the moment I buy in here, my average price is not up there, but it's up here. As it keeps dropping, my average price, again, I buy it here. My average price come lower, maybe not this low, but definitely comes down to the 61,000 region. And if it's still dropping, well, what's going to happen is that I'm going to have another buy in here and I'm going to have my, um, my uh, average price come all the way down. As we've seen previously, I'm going to show you again. As you've seen, 
the probability of having a, even this big ass drawdown here, even this big ass drawdown is only 50%. And this was the, the, the top of the top of the top. We're gonna talk about time-based capitulation as well. This is why you need to come to the show and we're gonna talk about time-based profit taking. But in general, if you look at this from March, 2020, all the way to April, 2021, that's a thousand percent. That's like on the 12, that's like over a year worth of, of, uh, of price action. And all the way, what you could have done is basically buy here, and then there is no dip. You would have sold 10% here, 10% here. What happens, you've got a 20% dip, you would have bought that dip buy the dip up, cool, and then you sell, t the, again, then you sell 10% here, 10% here, 10% here, and then what happens, there is another dip, and that dip is what? 22%, you would have layered it in, and then what happens is, again, 10%, 10%, 10%, 10%, when is the first big dip? Here, how big is this? 16%, you would have filled two orders. That way, you can always accumulate more cash, and you can always add more to your orders, and all the way as you go up here, you can just make sure uh, to leverage in. Now, here is the good part about it. One, if you keep the amount that you trade with, so if you have a $1,000 account and you put all your dollars aside that you make as profit when you take profit and you only get back in with almost uh, uh, always the same amount, $125 my, uh, in my case, you increase your margin and that means that you will be able to weather big, bigger drops because let's say that you make, you get in with $125 and the market goes up and you make $50, okay? So you took $50 profit, now you have $1,050 profit. You could do, add that $50 into the orders and you could add 25, 30% more, which would be 10% on the amount that you usually buy in. But instead of doing that, what you can do is keep that money on your margin account trade with $500 or always have limit orders with $500 and have $550 as margin. And because of that, you will not only be able to weather a 30% drop, but a 38% drop. And as your account grows, the bigger drops you will be able to weather. So when the boom, when the bear comes, when you have a, a massive drop like this, you will not be late getting out because you will watch the show and we'll do it together. But in general, if you see a lower time frame, uh, a higher time frame break like this on the daily, you have to get out. You have to stop this. You have to stop this trading strategy because it will just simply wreck you. And then you just simply transition into uh, into sell mode. So if you look here, for example you knew that this was a top because that was a, a very clear daily break. And if that happened, you simply do the exact same shorting. So you put your limit orders, sell orders up here. As it goes up, you sell every single bounce. There's not happening. It never happened that you had a 50, 60% up in the bull market. Even down here, this was a 25% pump and this was like everybody was celebrating it. So anyway, in general, I do believe this is a great strategy. Now you can come and say, hey, but there is margin and then you can blend and borrow and it will be easier with funding. I can tell you one thing. If you're Char if, if you're using VX and they charge you 0% uh, maker fees and you put limit orders in and you're preparing for the dump on leverage, leveraging more of your dollars than if you would have just put it in, in into Bitcoin, I do think this is an incredible strategy. With all honesty, I'm actually thinking about doing a grid bot. So I, I've never used a grid bot yet, but I'm, I'm thinking about this strategy that we could do all do together. So we'll see how that goes, but make sure to check the strategy out. Of course, whatever I say is not financial advice. So obviously do your own research. I'm just gonna share, I'm sharing with you what I'm gonna do with my own money. I'm gonna update you on my X account. You actually should make sure to follow me on X. I haven't shown you it here, but I think you are already following me. But if you haven't, there is a link in the description. I share with you all the news. I share with you all the offer, all the trades and everything else I do. Uh, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Come back next Monday where we're going to be live again. And uh, yeah, just much love to all of you. Thank you so much for watching. I truly, truly appreciate you. And I believe I'll see you in the next one. Take care.